Do you struggle to create consistent recognizable characters whether for your storybooks or maintaining consistency generating an AI influencer that earns you some serious cash well with the amazing flux loras you can't even tell who's real among them cuz they're all AI generated but in this step by step tutorial I'll take it a step further teaching you the secret to making them consistent in any pose along with some assets I've provided which can be used to create 3D characters or even as 2D concept art in your games Plus I'll also be covering how to train your very own Lora model so you can automate this to generate entire comic book panels and posters along with some cool features of this all-in-one powerhouse called Shaker AI so keep your eyes peeled and head over using my link below you can find a lot of tools in this single platform including Comfy UI and Automatic 1111 Here we see a huge list of different Lora models but I'll select Flux using this filter to use Lora trained on Flux Let's check out this model that seems perfect for creating cartoon characters and click run. Here's our workspace where we access all our generations. On the right, I'll set the model strength to I recommend 1, which is also the number of outputs we want. Now click image reference and upload one of the reference poses provided by yours truly below. Setting pose to 0.7. To then select image size In the prompt bar input our character description covering all details and click generate but notice how we haven't specified the exact pose in the prompt it's to test out the legitimacy of pose reference this will cost you 9 to 13 credits which means that you get 50 images per day on the free plan with 400 credits in a few seconds we get the school output getting the desired pose about 75% right and half way accurate text Now we'll crank down the lora to point 8 and specify the pose in the prompt giving us this output which has an accurate pose but missing out on the text that said let's try this out with the flux base model from here with a different pose set the pose strength to point 85 and enter our prompt containing text to get this beautiful output a quick tip is to keep improve prompt on for this by changing this prompt and pose i generated another image that looks pretty accurate in pose we can select it and use upscale here to choose hd for getting a crispy image quality so let's use what we learned to design exciting game characters for a 3d character i'm going to select and run this popular 3d pixar style lora model and use the t pose reference while specifying a character in my prompt to get this elf girl which can be used as reference to create a 3d model that is game ready for consistent 2d game character sheets let's go ahead and find any game design lora and run them to get character sheet outputs like this pink hitman super granny or even this skeletal knight prompts below but wait where's the consistent characters don't worry we are coming to it but first shut up eris lab let me show them a sneak peek of what i can do as an ai influencer Here are some of my IG photos. Now meet my boyfriend Don. Come on Sophie, be nice. He's the one who created us, remember? Anyways, subscribe to Airslab. Let's try out this enhanced realism Lora to create our AI influencer, also specifying age, ethnicity and complexion in the prompt. It looks very real. I also went ahead to generate a girl in a pose using pose reference but the vintage film Lora model gave a way better result than enhanced realism the exception generating poses in realistic style is that it gives slightly uncanny results that are easy to fix using the upscale tool selecting enhance though the results are great but the faces are different exactly where the face swap feature comes handy first click here to download the image containing the face you desire now select the previously generated image and go to the face swapper where it automatically highlights her face upload the downloaded image here select style and number of images and swap face we have a back once again and yes you can repeat this for the cartoon characters to achieve consistent faces but for a large project repeating this might become a tedious task that's why shaker lets you train your own lora model go back and click train a lora select the flux model or any model and upload at least 15 images of your character or influencer 
Don't worry, you can easily create these using the face wrapper like I did. Once the training images are uploaded, click the crop tag button and it'll crop and tag our images. Click on an image to add a name tag for the girl, let's say Sophia and prepend it and start to begin training. It's time for me to get a coffee while it trains. Once it's ready, pick out the closest match and test LoRa. Just scroll down to select the model pushing the slider all the way up and type any prompt like sitting on a boat while adding the name Sophia to it, then generate. We can create multiple images of Sophia, even ones with text. And you guessed it, we can also train a LoRa for our cartoon characters generated previously the same way, the same way following the same steps. To get these consistent results. But the best part of it all is that you can train a LoRa model having two different characters and assign them different name tags. Finally train the model to then generate them together in multiple scenes. And this makes generating story based game scenes and comics all the more easier like playing basketball, meeting in the library or shitting. I mean setting or even for character sheets so make sure to try it out for yourself using my link below and consider upgrading to the basic plan if you plan to train many LoRa models. Hit like if this video was helpful and leave any questions in the comments. You might be interested in viewing these. Until then see you in the next one.